A pack of powerful predators move stealthily through the dense forest, their keen senses on high alert. The alpha male leads the group, his sharp eyes scanning the surroundings for any sign of movement. Suddenly, a scent catches their attention, the unmistakable smell of a herd of deer nearby. With a silent signal, the pack splits up each member strategically positioning themselves to surround their unsuspecting prey. The dire wolves move in perfect coordination, using their speed and strength to outmaneuver the deer. As the chase ensues, the pack works together seamlessly, each member playing their part in the hunt. With a burst of speed, the alpha male lunges forward, taking down the largest deer with a swift and deadly strike. The rest of the pack quickly closes in, securing their meal and feasting on the fresh kill. The hunt is a success, showcasing the incredible teamwork and hunting prowess of the mighty direwolves. Direwolves, scientifically known as Canis dirus, lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, which lasted from around 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. They were closely related to modern day wolves, but had some distinct differences in their physical characteristics. The defining feature of the direwolf compared to today's wolves was its impressive size and build. Towering over modern grey wolves, they were estimated to have weighed around 150 to 200 pounds, while modern wolves typically weigh between 70 and 100 pounds. Dire wolves boasted a stocky frame, short legs and a broad skull, housing powerful jaws. Fossil evidence also indicates that males typically weighed more than females. These adaptations likely helped them take down larger prey such as bison, horses and even mammoths. Their teeth, larger and more robust than those of contemporary wolves, were likely specialised for crushing bones and scavenging, reflecting their adaptability in harsh Pleistocene environments. As already mentioned, dire wolves were skilled hunters that primarily preyed on large herbivores. They used their powerful jaws and sharp teeth to take down their prey, often hunting in packs to increase their chances of success. These apex predators were known for their endurance and ability to track and chase down their prey over long distances. They would work together as a coordinated team, with some members driving the prey towards others waiting in ambush. This cooperative hunting strategy allowed direwolves to take down much larger animals than they could on their own. Overall, they were efficient predators that played a crucial role in the prehistoric ecosystem. One of the most fascinating aspects of the direwolf was their social structure. They lived in packs that could consist of up to 30 individuals, working together to bring down large prey and defend their territory. This pack mentality allowed them to thrive in a variety of environments and outcompete other predators. The social structure within a direwolf pack was hierarchical with an alpha male and female leading the group. Younger wolves would often help care for and protect the pups of the pack. Overall, dire wolves relied on their social bonds to thrive in their prehistoric environment. Fossil evidence suggests that dire wolves had a wide range across North and South America, adapting to a variety of environments from grasslands to forests. The presence of direwolves in South America is significant as it highlights the broad range and adaptability of this extinct predator. It is believed that direwolves migrated from North America into South America during periods of changing climate and land connections, such as the formation of the Panamanian land bridge. 
This movement allowed for the interchange of species between the two continents, leading to the dispersal of various megafauna, including the direwolves. Direwolves, being apex predators during the Pleistocene Epoch, would have interacted with a variety of other predators in their ecosystems. These interactions would have been influenced by factors such as competition for resources, territorial boundaries, hunting strategies, and social dynamics. Direwolves likely competed with other large predators, such as saber-toothed cats and American lions, for access to prey species. Competition for limited food sources could have led to confrontations. While direwolves were skilled hunters, they were also opportunistic scavengers. They may have competed with scavengers like vultures, hyenas and smaller carnivores for access to carcasses, especially of large herbivores like mammoths and mastodons. As with today, animals would have also practiced what we call mutual avoidance. Some predators may have avoided direct confrontations with direwolves to minimize the risks of injury or competition. For example, smaller predators like foxes or scavengers like vultures may have waited for direwolves to finish their meal before approaching the carcass, or even larger megafauna would have thought twice before taking on a direwolf pack. While humans and direwolves coexisted during the Pleistocene Epoch, there is no concrete evidence to suggest direct interactions between early humans and these extinct predators. Early human populations in the Americas, such as Paleo-Indians, would have been aware of the presence of direwolves in the landscape, but the extent of their interactions remains speculative. It is possible that humans may have encountered direwolves while scavenging for resources or hunting other prey species, but there is no definitive evidence of direct links or interactions between the two. The lack of clear evidence of human direwolf interactions may be attributed to several factors, including the sparse archaeological record, the different ecological niches occupied by humans and direwolves, and the limited overlap of their respective ranges and behaviours. While both species were prominent players in the Pleistocene ecosystems of the Americas, their paths likely diverged, with humans focusing on hunting smaller game and utilising different resources than the large predators like direwolves. The extinction of direwolves is believed to have occurred around 9,500 years ago, during the late Pleistocene and early Holocene epochs. There are several theories as to why direwolves went extinct, including climate change, competition with other predators, and human hunting. The climate warned and large herbivores that the direwolves relied on for food became scarce. Their population likely then declined. Additionally, the arrival of human populations in North America may have put further pressure on direwolf populations through hunting and habitat destruction. These factors, combined with the changing environment, are thought to have contributed to the eventual extinction of the direwolf species. As a massive fan of Game of Thrones, to learn all about the real direwolves that lived and thrived on the American continents was especially enjoyable to do. Of all the prehistoric animals I've covered, this would be the one I would like the most to see in the flesh. I may have said that before, but this is my new favourite. I hope you enjoyed learning about them as much as I did, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.